Hi, everybody. Welcome to Manitowoc Cooperative Ministry Daily Devotions. I'm Pastor Judine Deerwachter, and today I'm going to bring you a daily devotion on a word that can be a little bit difficult for us to um, adjust to. And the word is adjustment. So one of the reasons I wanted to bring up this word adjustment is because this week I'm closing out my ministry with the MCM co-op and there's going to be a lot of different adjustments that I know that I will have to be making and um, our membership and friends with the co-op as well. I am taking this time to focus on my family with two daughters having babies in just a few weeks and in just a few months and a dear mother who's having a major surgery. So I need to be present um, in my heart. I really need to be present for everybody. So nonetheless, let's talk about how we can move through this time of adjustment. When I come, when I think about the word adjustment, I think about Really, one of the first times I ever really heard and looked at the word in a in a more specific way, and that's in seeing a chiropractor, right? When you go see a chiropractor, don't be telling him or her, oh, I love it when you crack my back, because that's not what they're doing. They get so mad, right? I have a favorite chiropractor, too, and he says to me, no, I'm adjusting you. I'm not cracking your back. And the reason, of course, for the adjustment is that when our spine is adjusted and aligned, it literally creates the ability, the excelled ability for our bodies to be whole and to feel better and to fight off illness much, much better. So I always thought of the, a chiropractor when I hear the word uh, adjustment. I also think of the word adjustment when kids go off to college. I've had this experience, perhaps you have too, and there is a major adjustment for both sides of the family. The child, the student, you know, residing now on campus and the adjustments that they have to go through, not having that adult around parenting them um, pretty regularly. And then, of course, for those siblings and parents who are at home adjusting to their physical absence while they are off to school. So that that one comes to mind. The other one that comes to mind when we're adjusting to something is the seasons. We're in the beautiful fall season right now and we make adjustments to how to prepare for that season, adjustments to prepare for winter and then once, you know, there's spring and summer, we make adjustments to prepare for those seasons as well so that we can enjoy them in the most, you know, beneficial way. And of course, there are adjustments that we have to make. It's inevitable when we are in relationships with one another. And usually when we're talking about an adjustment in a relationship, it tends to to take on a negative connotation. Um, and then that sounds more difficult, but frankly, adjustments in relationships are very, very good for relationships, um, in fact. So we do attach this kind of um, helplessness to the word adjustment. We at times feel like we don't have a choice in something that we are having to adjust to that occurs. So the word itself just doesn't always um, comfort us, so to speak. And I think about the scriptures in what God says that we're supposed to remember about adjustments and that God promises that the hardships and the difficulties of adjustment, scripture calls it oftentimes the night or the darkness of adjustments, it won't last forever. The cliche, this too shall pass, uh, comes to mind. And scripture says that the joy will come in the morning. 
And it really, really is true. Um, if we look at our Romans 20, uh, what is it? Romans 8 verse 28, that scripture passage says pretty much the same thing, that God makes good of all things. It's the nature of God to do so. God can't not do it. Or if we if we exchange the word God for love, love cannot not do it. It's the symbolism in Genesis. Chaos is made into creativity. Chaos adjusts and we get creativity. And that's a good thing. It's in the symbolism of the crucifixion. Crucifixion adjusts to resurrection and then we have to adjust to that belief as well that he lives so it's really a word that i would hope that we could take away from today the notion that we certainly don't like to necessarily have to adjust to something we do like our comfort don't we but in adjusting to something, we are called by God to trust and that God makes good of all adjustments. And we are called to take a deep breath and believe that despite what the darkness might look like, the joy of the morning will come. The resurrection says so. And you can't deny that fact. Think of your life, look at the evidences of your life and how chaos was made into creativity and how small crucifixions or large ones in your life had turned into life-giving resurrection of some way, shape, or form. So please, let's take this word adjustment with us today. Let's place a positive connotation on it and let us know that when it's there, we recognize it and we trust that the joy in the morning is right around the corner. I hope this was helpful, friends. Take great care, and I will see you tomorrow. And remember to live to love. Bye-bye now.